Hello, this is Tony of Tony's Music and the administrator of Doodly and Toonly PNGs. I'm going to start off with a Toonly video and I'm going to call it Parallax Effect. Okay. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take off that tab there. Then I'm going to take that off. I don't need that. I need to go on backgrounds. And I'm going to pull this one across, which is a street that I got from Doodley and put on Toonley for a reason I was using for something uh, a long while ago. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a snipping tool and I'm going to snip a rectangular section off that which is basically most of it but I don't want any of the any black border from off the background like that. so just do that there ah cut the back end there Let's do that again sorry now it's now good do it again wait a minute let's try again this is not it's fairly easy but sometimes you catch the the edge and I don't want the edges possible like that the bottom edge don't matter so much as the rest that's it that's perfect right so what I need to do now is just save that as a street so I know where it is Like that. Ah, so it's street PNG and I saved it to my desktop right so get out of that um, minimize that to the bottom and are we yeah we're still recording now it's fine um, what I'm going to do now is open street PNG in um, paint so there it is what I'm going to do now is click select there and I'm going to get from that corner if it allow me to from that corner go across there try not to get any other building and get all other clouds like that and I'm going to crop it and save that as clouds not straight and it's PNG as well so I'll save it to PNG's clouds well then I'm going to come out of that go back onto the street PNG open with paint again and I'm going to crop well I'm going to select all the building area and try not to catch the clouds I'm going to cut the edge of the clouds there try again that's it cool. that, that's better and crop that right so I haven't got the clouds in that bit right so now what I need to do with this one is also resize take off the maintain aspect ratio and change the vertical to about half and that's much better for what I need to do right now I'm going to save that as the street that it was before but obviously it's not going to be the same and got no um, clouds on it there right okay do that now the next thing I'm going to do is click off that and go on to affinity photo which is just a photo editing software which I use um, you don't have to use that if you don't want to you can use something else and I'm just going to open those two files up so I need to use me two hands for the keyboard for a second so bear with me and let's find them there's the first one click on that bring it down to the second one there's the second one i click control and select both of them and as you can see there's two tabs on there but it's got the clouds one on first right now if you look down the tools tabs here there should be something like an erase brush tool but I've got it on flood erase tool which is a fantastic tool for getting rid of one whole colour very quickly 
and it'll be great for doing the backgrounds for this. Now I've got rid of the background there and I'll need to do select all and then I'll go to file export go to the area part and take off all document change it to section without background and make sure it's a PNG and export it as closed PNG so it'll replace the old one without so it'll be transparent except for the clouds right then I'll get rid of the clouds one by just clicking on the X button there and just say now then do the same with this one which is basically get rid of the white background and get rid of that bit there which didn't come off with the rest and then click select all again and then export as selection without background export as a PNG but this time straight right and save that okay once you've done that you can come out of this no right then you go on to Tonely you remove the background you don't need that background anymore we want a solid white background and then we need to go on to objects to add those two objects we just made which is the street and the clouds which I need to use both hands to get to the control so, there we go and that's going to add those two on once it's added them on we're going to add the street first onto the scene by um, searching for it right so there it is as you can see there right so I'll do that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it much bigger that might be big enough I don't know maybe a little bit more maybe like that right and then I'm going to add the clouds next so. right just wait for that It'll come on in a minute there's the clouds just click them there Going to make them um, quite a bit bigger like that. Like that. right put them down there a bit more and I want to go on to edit copy and paste to paste the clouds so we've got two lots of clouds there now and the other clouds I'm gonna make them much smaller so you've got them in the background somewhat and then we're there like that right now oh we can have them a bit higher actually do that like that right now I'm going to uh, select all of those items that I've just put on so that I can make them longer on the timeline okay so just bear with me a second while I press control and uh, stretch them to the length of the timeline that I want okay so that's stretched out as far as I want them and now the first clouds which is the smallest ones right at the back I'm going to click on the initial point where they should be and I'm going to just jiggle them a little bit like that just to make sure it catches and then the end point which is there I'm going to move them slightly across like that because they only have a slight movement right so that's that one what I need to do now is just background background on that one so it's right underneath now the next one is the next clouds and I'm gonna move them over this way a bit and that's where they're gonna start and I'm gonna move them much further than the other ones by going across that way a bit more like that right now that should be okay hopefully and then I'm gonna once I've finished that I need to put them at background so the street will become the first one at the top right now click on the street one and click on the initial position 
and just jiggle it a bit just to make sure it catches on it right and then when you when you stop that's it that's where it is right and then click on the end position and then take it right across to the end position over this side like that that's the end position there and that should be okay now what we need to do is also take off the bounce of each one of these items firstly and secondly we need to check that the um, bigger clouds are not too fast because if they're too fast it won't look right so we need to preview it first they might be too fast if they are I'll have to reduce the length at which they move right so we'll just check that first right Oh, down they look all right actually as you can see they're moving slower than the actual thing that's pretty good that's fine you should always check down right that's pretty good so far now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add add a character um, to the beginning part so just click on the beginning there and then add a character and get him walking across from the beginning right obviously he's going to be much smaller than that because obviously he's got to be about the size of the doors I think somewhere around there right and we'll have him walking with a briefcase or something like that there's a briefcase right so we'll do that and have him happy and instant instant so that's it right now if we do we'll get him all the way across same as everything else and what we'll do is we'll just get to the beginning point take him that way and end point we're going to take him to about the middle right that's okay then because then he isn't walking too fast but he's walking reasonable okay now we'll just preview that again and see how it goes there you go that looks lovely this works pretty well you can see you can get the image of differentiating of the uh, movement of everything and it disappeared at the end <laughs> okay that's it uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and I'll be cheerful to you and if you do like it please like and subscribe to Tony's Music and I hope you enjoyed the video anyway uh, have a good day and stay safe thank you